Hello guys, it is I, Deontay of House Lannister, and it's a pleasure to see you today. This wine is ancient, poured by mother Cersei Lannister. And today I feel is a highly requested video because of the fact that this next coming episode of Game of Thrones is going to be very sad and depressing. So I figured it would be best while winter is here, you know, I've had my have my coat on and everything, that we need to discuss who is going to die in this week's episode because I feel like this past episode they gave us everything we wanted and now they're going to take it all away. So I figured while I'm still here in the red keep, you know, watching over peasants, that I need to discuss and see who's going to die because it's not going to be me. Let's begin. You're totally interrupting! Let's begin again. So, you run a YouTube channel for clout. <laughs> How fun. You should be grateful while it lasts. A Beric Dondarrion. Alive, dead, or white walker. I think he's gonna become a white walker. Gendry is going to die. I think he's going to die for sacrifices for Arya. Grey Worm, dead. I think he's also going to die to save Miss Undae. Is it Ulova? Tormund Giant's Bane. He's going to die. His stupidity won't get him past anything. Podrick Payne. As much as I love a good song, Podrick Payne, I think Podrick Payne's unfortunately going to die. Bronn. He's a funny one, nah? He's a funny one. However, I think he's going to die to try and save Jamie. Dear Jamie. Davos Seaworth is going to die. Brienne of Tarth, she's definitely going to die because her life mission is to protect and stand by for the Starks. And she also loves Jaime Lannister. I think she's definitely going to fight and live her duty as a knight. Finally, she's a knight. I love that for her. Lord Varys, he has a way with words. However, I don't think he's going to live. He's going to die. Sam, the small child of Samuel Tolly and Gilly. Actually, I'm gonna keep Sam as alive. I think Sam, little Sam, will stay alive. <laughs> so, James Charles said something controversial. <laughs> this isn't anything new. Gilly, unfortunately Samuel Tarly's lover, I think she's going to die. Unfortunately, she's what well, I think she's going to give the baby to Samuel and Samuel's going to have to take care of the baby so it'll be Sam and little Sam. And then going into Samuel Tarly, I think he's going to be alive because he's one of the only Grand Maesters that is going to be left in King's Landing or Westeros. Mm. For these next two brothers, the Mountain and the Hound, I think they're both going to become White Walkers. The Night King turned a dragon into a White Walker. I can't imagine what he would do with two strong men, so White Walkers all the way, unfortunately. Jorah Mormont, I think he's going to die, unfortunately. Melisandre, she is the Red Witch that always over-exaggerates exactly every single thing she says. I think she's going to die. Obviously, she hasn't been in the show in a hot second. She's going to come back and do something that's mildly interesting, but I think she's definitely going to die, unfortunately. The Greyjoys, Euron, Theon, and Yara, I think they're all going to die. Theon is watching Bran in this next episode. I think he's going to die. Euron is just a straight idiot. I stare at his idiocracy all the time, so he's definitely going to die. Yara Greyjoy, I think, is going to die to help somebody else. So that is my theory on her. Daenerys Targaryen. As much as I love her, I do love Daenerys Targaryen. I think, unfortunately, she's starting to show traits that make her mad. Now that she knows that Sansa wants a North Bat in Daenerys when she ascends to the throne, she's definitely not going to give the throne or any part of Westeros to anybody. So I definitely think Daenerys is unfortunately going to die. She's too highly painted as somebody that will take the Iron Throne. I don't think it'd be her. They say Los Angeles is the land of dreams, but are we sure it isn't the land of fiends? Tyrion Lannister, smart little man, he's going to live. I think the way that he thinks will get him out of situations and onto the right team. And I originally thought about Lord Varys, but who cares about Lord Varys, really? 
so good. Jamie Lannister. I think he's going to die, unfortunately. Next is Cersei Lannister. She's just upstairs, so don't tell her that I said this, but I think Cersei Lannister is unfortunately going to die. Now, this is my theory because the prophecy, I think, is going to come true. I think Jamie Lannister is going to kill Cersei, and then I think Jamie's going to kill himself because he can't live without Cersei Lannister, I don't think. I think they're both going to die in that Romeo and Juliet-esque way. I think it's pretty, you know? Bran Stock. I think he's going to live. Even though he's acting as bait for the Night King, I still think he's going to live. Arya Stark. I think she's going to live. I think so. I think she's very strategic and she will find her way through all of it. I think she's a perfect underdog to take it. Cameron Dallas has such a charming look. Are we sure that's what gets him out of jail each time? Sansa Stark. I think she's going to come off of that high horse that she's sitting on right now and that I think she's kind of going to sacrifice herself in a sense. I don't know if she's going to sacrifice, but her death will definitely be meaningful. Uh, you ruined your social media career. Hmm. Let me get the recycled white ball PR statement for you. And Jon Snow, you know nothing, Jon Snow. I definitely think that he's going to die, unfortunately. It would be too much of a happily ever after for him to take the Iron Throne, especially him coming to terms with being Aegon Targaryen of the sixth name. I definitely think that he's unfortunately going to die. I think due to the reason of his relationship with Arya, I think he's going to save Arya so that the future of the kingdom is in good hands since they have such a positive relationship. And now these are the bonus questions. Is Daenerys pregnant? I said no, I don't think so. Who kills the Night King? I said, oh yeah, because I think that it's going to be a setup and they're going to try and lure in the Night King. And this is where I think Jon Snow could die. If the Night King kills Jon Snow, then Oya can kill the Night King. And who holds the throne at the end? I think Oya, because who I have left alive is Oya, Bran, Tyrion, and Samwell. So if Oya serves as queen, I think Tyrion will definitely be the Han. Samwell will be somebody in the court, you know, giving advice. And Bran sees everything. So Bran will just sit there in the corner, sitting in his wheelchair, just looking at everyone. Huh? This has been my Game of Thrones death pool. Make sure you leave your death pool in the comments below. Answer it on Twitter, tweet it to me, Instagram it to me, and we are gonna find out who is going to live or die. So, if you like this video, make sure you give it a giant thumbs up, and I will see you guys next Friday. Positive reminder of this video is to be smart. Don't indulge your time in negative activities, and I'll see you then. Stay awesome and stay happy. Peace out. Okay. Cheers.